Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, we're going to find a solution to this exponential equation 2 to the power of x equal to 4x. For me, this equation is confusing because I tried so hard to solve it algebraically, but I couldn't. Therefore, I'm going to apply graphical method. But if you have any suggestion, kindly state it in the comment box below. All right, let's get started. Since 2 to the power of x is exactly the same as 4x, we can all equate them to be equal to y, which implies that y could either be equal to 2 to the power of x or y equal to x. So we can graph these two functions separately and notice the point of intersection between them. But by clear inspection, you can see that 4 is a solution because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 and 4 times 4 is 16. But is 4 the only solution? This is why we want to graph it and see the points of intersection. I would like to start by graphing this function, which is linear function, a straight line graph. To construct any linear graph, you need two important things, the y-intercept as well as the slope. Let me start by writing the y-intercept, y-intercept, you know, is the value of y when um, x is equal to 0. So if you set x equal to 0, you have y to be equal to 0 as well. You know, that's exactly where the line will cross y axis. And slope, which is denoted by m, is equal to always the coefficient of x if the equation is written in standard form. So we have 4, but we can always rationalize it because, you know, uh, slope is the rate of change of y over the change in x. So these are the two important key points we need in order to construct the linear graph. Now let us locate them here on the axis. The scale I've used on y axis is one unit to represent one centimeter, but on x axis you can see two centimeters to represent a single point. Let's start by plotting or locating y intercept which is zero at the origin, you can clearly see it here. Then slope, which is rise over run, because 4 is positive, we are moving up. But suppose it is negative, we are moving down 4 units. Okay, let's count 4 units above y-intercept. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you move to the right 1 unit. You can see that. We have a point right here. Then you repeat the same process, 1, 2, 3, 4, you move to the right, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, you move to the other side, 1, you can continue like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, you move to the right, do we have other points, let me see, 1, 2, 3, it's not up to 4, so let's stop here and connect all the dots together. Uh, so people might ask, why did I neglect this space because we have exponential function exponential function that is uh, 2 to the power of x will never cross x axis because we have a horizontal asymptote here and we, we are only concerned with the point of intersection so they are going to intersect above so now let us connect all of these points together right here is our linear graph which is a graph of y equal to 4x and also we need to construct a graph of y equal to 2 to the power of x. Remember, an exponential function will never cross x axis. It is going to look like this. It will always pass through 1, where y equal to 1. That's what I mean. Up, up, like that. So therefore, since we know there is no intersection to the left, I can start plugging values of x equal to 0 and above all the positive values. So what happens if x is equal to 0, we have y equal to 2 to the power of 0, and 2 to the power of 0 is 1, right? So we locate when x is 0, we have y to be equal to 1. We have a point right here. Then what happens if x is equal to 1? We have 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. At 1, we have 2. This is 2. 2. Then what happens if x is 2, we have 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. So at 2, 
we're going to have 4. This is where we have 4 on y-axis. Then what happens if x is equal to 30? We have 2 to the power of 30 is 8. So at 30, we have 8. Let's locate 8. This is where we have 8. What happens if x is equal to 4? We have 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So at 4, we have 16. This is where we have 16. They overlap. And when x is 5, we have 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So y is not after 32. So let's stop here and connect all the dots together. All right, this is how our graph looks like, which is a graph of y equal to 2 to the power of x. So where are the points of intersection? If we observe, we have a point here and another point of intersection here. So what are the values of y at that point? Already this is a fraction. We cannot clearly see the value. But for this, we can see it is equal to 4. So x equal to 4 is a solution. x equal to 4 is a solution. But what about this particular point? According to the graph, you can see that this is 0 0.5. So that point is not up to 0 0.5, but rather approximately equal to 0 0.3 so the two solutions we have are 0 0.3 and 4 and hence we can conclude that the value of x is either 4 or x equal to 0 0.3 and you can plug them into the main equation to see whether the left and the right hand side will be the same thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye